worst, the worst, bitch. Thanks a lot for coming out here tonight on this cold day. But I can assure you it's not as cold as the hearts of the Republicans who passed this abomination of a tax bill. First, there was no economic reason for this. You, you, you pass tax cuts when you're in a recession. Our, our economy has been growing for 105 consecutive months. We're at a, the lowest unemployment rate in 16 years. And yet they passed this tax stimulus, baloney. Um, the other arm of the, of the government, the Federal Reserve, is raising interest rates because they're afraid the economy is going to be going too quickly. So this, they are at odds and contradiction with, the, with themselves. So why are they doing this? Well, you probably already have a good idea, but let me give you a quote that I think is at least revealing to me. The set, uh, U.S. Representative Chris Collins, a millionaire, Republican, that's redundant, um, from the state of New York, was quoted in public as saying this. Um, my don't quote, my donors are telling me, get this tax cut done or don't bother calling us again, unquote. Now, the definition of a gaffe is usually accidentally telling the truth. I think that's a gaffe. I don't think they wanted that cat out of the bag. <clears throat> the president's economic, chief economic advisor, Cohn, I should say ex, ex economic advisor, he didn't survive the purges. But he said the most excited group about this tax cut was the big CEOs. And the, I mean, the details bear all that out. 6,000 lobbyists participated in getting this thing passed. You know, it used to be one vote, one person. Now it's one dollar, one vote. Okay. <clears throat> so what, what did they actually do? They give us a small, tiny tax break to the average person. You all have probably seen this in your tax, in your... In your in your uh, wage statements, right? You're living large on this tax cut, aren't you? Ooh. It's going to pay for your kids' college tuition and, and uh, that second uh, the remodeling of the kitchen on your second yacht and all of that, right? <laughs> well, that was just the enticer to get it passed. Remember Trump's language about, oh, this Christmas gift for the middle class? Well, there was a Christmas gift, all right. We got the coal. And the, the top 1%, as Curry said, got 80, are getting 83% of this tax break. The top one-tenth of 1% 1 are getting 62% of this tax cut. So what did they do? What are some of the specifics? I'll give you some of the really obnoxious ones. They, they eliminated the tax break the police had for buying their own uniforms and weapons. This included firefighters as well gone. They eliminated the, um, ta the tax break that you would get if you were trying to get a master's degree. You used to be able to deduct that expense. Gone. What did they keep? <clears throat> the deductions for business meeting on golf courses. The deductions for sales meetings buying alcohol for their customers. Uh, the deductions for corporate jet planes. Um, some other things here too. That gives you a pretty good idea of what they put in this bill and how nauseating this thing is. Okay, so what are the, some of the specific changes? I don't want to get into the weeds on this too much because it's like thousands of, of pages long. Um, they did it in a hurry, in secret, and then quickly so that they could get it done before people really realized what was going on. It virtually eliminates what's called the alternative minimum tax. When people have, like, so you make $500,000 and you have tax deductions to bring that down to zero, the AMT would kick in until you'd have to at least pay something. That's gone. Remember, Donald Trump, one of his tax returns was leaked to Rachel Maddow. Remember that? Yeah. 2005. He did pay some, it was, a, it was on purpose, it just was leaked. Because he did pay some taxes. The only reason he paid any taxes was because of the AMT. That's gone. That was one of the Easter eggs that they buried in there that they really wanted, that really people don't quite understand and get. Why, you know, you wouldn't. How many here are making half a million dollars a year and are subject to the AMT, right? <laughs> yeah, we are the zero percent. <laughs> they doubled the threshold for inheritance taxes from 11 to 22 million dollars. So now, after 22 million dollars, 
<laughs> you, you will, the first dollar gets taxed to the children of, the, of rich people who, are, who give their inheritance. How many people do you think that helps? There are about three million estate taxes filed each year. This helps 3,000 of them. Literally, one-tenth of one percent will benefit from that tax stuck in there, from that tax break. And just the lies, the outright, open, bare, bald-faced lies. Trump goes and says we have the highest, the highest corporate tax rate in the world. It's such a, it's so easy to find this out. If you take the effective tax rate, and I did taxes in corporations, so I know this. Um, you take the, the, the actual tax rate, we are slightly less than average of the developed countries. He also said that we have the highest income, personal income taxes in the world. Another bull baloney. <laughs> we rank 27th out of the 30, 30 um, industrialized countries in personal income taxes. I don't know. I don't know how he can get away with this stuff in broad daylight. Um, one of the other Easter eggs that was put in there is a one-time deduction for all the international corporations can repatriate their income back to the country this year for a low bargain rate of 8% taxes, one year only. Normally that would be 20%. So this is a huge gift. And when we say corporations are benefiting, 85% of the stock is held by the top 10% of the wealthy of the population. So when we talk about corporate tax cuts or these, some of these individual tax stuff, we're talking about, again, the top 10 or 1%. I don't want to get to how much of the, uh, detail you want of this stuff, but um, Trump himself, it's hard to tell because he won't release his taxes, but Trump himself is estimated to gain $11 million this year. The Koch brothers, who spent uh, about $150 million lobbying for this, they're estimated to gain almost a billion dollars this year from this tax break, and every year going forward. So you, spend, you don't have to be a financial analyst to realize that $150 million investment getting you a billion dollars a year is pretty damn good. <laughs> Not bad at all. Politicians may be cheap, but they are all, they are valuable in your pocket. Okay, lastly, I just want to say, well, what's the effect of all of this? Not the effect, but what does this say about our nation? We get to decide what kind of a country we have. What are our ideals? What are our standards? Are we going to have, are we going to stand for the American idea of equality, of equality of opportunity, equal equal protection, or are we just going to be a collection of people who want a good economy? Right now, it's it's the latter. This law says that we are in service to the rich, indentured to corporations, and that we value these people more than the rest of us, more than the disadvantaged, and more than the disabled. I don't buy it. In my lifetime, okay, I'm old, but I was born after Woodrow Wilson. But um, in my lifetime, I've seen us go from the, the, not seen it, but read about us going from the most egalitarian country in the world, a model, to right now we are 107th in terms of wealth distribution. The dead last of the industrialized countries. We are actually behind Iran and Russia in wealth distribution. That's a fact. In the 1950s, we had not just a minimum wage, we had a maximum wage. Anybody, who, if you earned more than three and a half million dollars a year, every dollar over that three and a half million was taxed at 90%. And we were fine with that. This was under Eisenhower. This was about equality. And we had a robust economy at the same time. We've reversed that entirely. We're giving everything to the richest. We used to, we used to tax labor, earned income, at a, at a lower rate than unearned income. Unearned income is interest income, dividend income, capital stilling stock for gain. We used to tax that income much higher than we taxed labor income. Today, what's that rate? It's less than 15%. And we, as laborers, are paying well into the 20s. This is why <clears throat> Warren Buffett can legitimately say that his tax rate is literally less than his secretary's. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, um, Mitt Romney released his taxes and he was paying 14%.
but we're paying up well above 20. And just to add a couple things that are in the tax bill that make it even more egregious, they're not even tax related, and this is what even makes me even more angry. They put in the tax bill to allow drilling in Anwar, the Alaskan National Wildlife Refuge. What did that have to do with taxes? It got Lisa Murkowski's vote. The senator from Alaska, that's why it was put in there. Citrus growers still have their tax deductions. I'm sure it's just a happy coincidence that Florida is an important swing state. They removed, as, we, as someone else already alluded to, they removed the, for, the, uh, the mandate for the Affordable Care Act. So if people are going to be dropping out and not contributing to it, it's going to raise the premium. The CBO has estimated that by 2027, 13 million people will not be able to afford, more people will not be able to afford health care. I don't know, that's not the kind of world I want to live in. I, I, you know, I, I, it's, it's getting to be a dead heat as to whether China or the United States is more authoritarian. <laughs> um, and those people, again, those people who don't join in, who don't, aren't, don't buy into insurance, they don't go away. They go to the emergency room. Those extra dollars are not figured in any of this. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up now, but um, I just want to end with a quote that I thought was interesting from Theodore Roosevelt, who himself was a one percenter, said that passing vast fortunes from one generation to the next not only undermines the recipients of those fortunes, but is of great and genuine detriment to the community at large. Thank you. Subscribe, bitch!